2012 Chevy Cruze, about 105,000 miles on it. We got a coolant leak. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can fix it for just a little $5 bottle of leak dye without having to go to the mechanic and spending hundreds of dollars. Lately, I've noticed the coolant reservoir keeps running low. Now, I don't have any milky oil, which is a sign of a blown head gasket. I don't have any foam underneath the cap. I can actually show you that right now. See, whistle clean oil, no foam, no milk. So we know the head gasket's good. Now, I have been noticing there is drippage on the floor somewhere under the engine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little AC Delco coolant system tracer die. We're gonna pour it into the reservoir and then we're gonna turn the car on and let it run for about 15, 20 minutes till it gets to operating temperature. You want that thermostat to open up and circulate the coolant throughout the system. That's the only way you're gonna find this effectively. There. So we'll start it up. Now you can see we're already at operating temperature. I saved some time already and added the coolant dye and let the car run to reach operating temperature to open up the thermostat to allow coolant to flow. Which is why you've noticed the bottle's empty. And then I've also put a piece of cardboard under the car. So if there is a drip anywhere else, we'll be able to find it. Never assume there's only one leak. Next, we're gonna take our little UV light. I got this for about $15 on Amazon. Whoa. I'm not wearing the UV glasses that's recommended, only because if there's a leak, you're gonna see it with this light. So, we're gonna look in all the usual spots. First off, the thermostat. There's the thermostat right there. And as you can see, it looks pretty normal. AC compressor, water pump. Water pump would be the next culprit. And it's looking pretty good. Alternator. No obvious signs of leakage. Even down there on the radiator. No obvious signs of leakage. Let's go to the other side. The water outlet. That's the devil. That's always also known for leaking too. Usually it'll cool up right here on the transmission, but as you can see, we're looking pretty okay. Even on the other radiator hoses on the other side of the engine. It's all looking pretty good. So we'll just move on up and, uh-oh, what do we have here? Look at all that fluorescence. Yep. We found our leak, ladies and gentlemen. It looks to be coming from the reservoir tank. As we sit here a moment and look, you can even see drips coming down. See those drips coming down off the back end where it's been dripping? And there's drips coming right there from the reservoir tank. It looks like to be all over the brake, or the, um, or the ABS module, but no, that's not the case. The rear coolant reservoir has been dripping onto the ABS and dripping towards the back of the engine. Cooling up back there. As you can see, the blue, you see it a lot better if you had the glasses, but you can obviously see this. So there's our leak, ladies and gentlemen. The coolant reservoir tank is leaking. Here's the other side of the reservoir. As you can see, it's cooling up down there. Oddly enough, none of the hoses coming off of the tank are leaking. So we're gonna assume that the reservoir tank is cracked on the bottom. And luckily, that's an easy fix. You would just, well, given our situation, we'll let it drain a little bit. You'll undo a clip here, a clip here, right down in there. There you go, you can see that. And there should be one other clip, I believe, that's holding the tank in place. And it's about a $15, $20 part online. But, never assume there's always one leak. So, we're going to check that cardboard we put in underneath the car. Now, here's that piece of cardboard we put on the car. I'm going to shine the UV light all over it. That's just the glue from the cardboard packaging. Don't be fooled. But there it is. 
that's about right underneath the reservoir where we've been getting our leak from. That's a pretty significant freaking leak. So my next step is to purchase a new reservoir tank online. And then I'll make a video showing you how to replace that. So now you know how to find your own coolant links. If you're ever suspicious of losing coolant, your reservoir tank is getting low, why not find it yourself with a little $5 bottle of UV dye and some time. Also, a little $15 light off Amazon. Runs on a couple AA batteries. It's very well worth it. Going to the mechanic, you'd probably cost one, $200 just in diagnostics alone to find that leak. And, now, and then whatever they're gonna hit you with to replace the $10 plastic part that's easily accessible. So, hope this helped you out. Hope next time you uh, try to do it yourself. And I'll try to leave a link for all the parts in the video below. And feel free to comment anything you like, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.